So I'm here with Raju Vigazna, Chief Evangelist for Zoho, and we have some very exciting news that we're making, and Zoho is announcing a whole slate of AI agents and new AI features, and uh, maybe too many to talk about. So I figured we'd just talk about Zoho Sign, and um, we often talk about how we want AI to be something that works so well that people don't even know they're using it. And uh, so maybe you could tell us a little bit about how it works. Sure. I think, it, you know, our focus has been on pragmatic use of AI. I think in just the best use of technology is when the users don't know that they're using 20 pieces of technology and that applies to AI as well. And in the context of digital signatures, we obviously have a strong product called Zoho Sign. And now we are bringing some of the AI aspects to it, more in a pragmatic use case. Uh, the common thing I face on a regular basis is I get an email saying that, hey, sign this document, 28-page document. I'm not going to go through all of that. So wouldn't it be helpful to provide a quick summary of the document on what I'm really signing, right? Now AI can, can do that. So... There are a series of things we are doing like that, where summarizing the documents, and that document could be in a different language. Let's say you send me a, a document to sign in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish. I want an English summary of that document. So now I get a, a quick English summary of that document. That's one useful feature that we are adding. Well, even if it's in English, I can't understand it and usually don't read it and sign it just because. It is in legalese, right? So so now, in fact, we have added some capability on that as well. The the English to English translation in this case, so you can call it the legalese to English translation. So we added adding that capability to, hey, put it in simple English because it is too much legalese out there. So we've added that capability as well as part of this, this release where you can take any complex document and and ask Zia, which is Zoho's intelligent assistant, to simplify it into English. So I could say, hey, Zia, what am I signing? Exactly. In fact, we, have, we also added the ability to chat with uh, Zia. In this case, you can ask Zia anything about the document. So, uh, hey, when, do, when does this document terminate? What is the cancellation terms on this? So you can chat with Zia, ask Zia some questions about it, and Zia will respond. So it's like chatting with Zia about the document you're about to sign. So you get you can get all your questions answered before you, you sign it. Extremely useful, especially if you're signing some long documents. Extremely helpful. Well, and I know there's some other features that are new. Let's say you're somebody who signs 10, 15 documents a day. Um, you're not always going to look at every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And there's a potential for some bad actors to get you to sign something as a form of phishing. So there's some phishing detection. Totally. I think, uh, you know, document scams, particularly in the context of signing, is uh, that's increasing. Because as you said, if you keep, if you are the signatory and if you keep receiving these documents to be signed, you're not going to be paying too much attention to some of them. And imagine somebody is trying to send you a document, which is a, through a phishing email, and it should be able to detect that. Because if you don't notice it, you sign the document, and that random person that you did not know is going to come to you saying that, hey, you owe me $100,000. Right? And that could happen because th those scams are becoming increasingly common. So now we have added, you know, the, the phishing detection and there are some uh, valid, I would say, trusted sources that you can you can also manually set up in, in Zoho Sign. You say, I'm going to sign only from these set of email addresses or set of some other processes. But even it is when an email is coming from a non-trusted source and non-verified sender, then the system alerts you so that you can pay attention. These are all security things that you have to take care of. Again, AI is in a bet, best position to, to take care of that. So let's say, hypothetically, you're me. I've just signed a document that says I'm going to pay someone $100,000. I've already signed it. Is there anything in place for people that have actually taken that step as far as detection? 
if the detection is is part of it if you have signed it then then it's probably too late so that the, you got to be proactive make sure that you don't sign it and may, and that is where the system helps with detecting that it is a phishing email and alerting the user that hey you should not sign this particular document and that part proactive prevention is what we are trying to do with sign um and so we were talking a little bit yesterday you had mentioned that there's also um field detection yeah, I think if you get a document, typically in a digital signature platform, uh, you drag and drop a few fields out there based on the agreement. So you have an agreement and this agreement has some underlines saying that, hey, this is where you put your name, this is where you put your signature, this is where you put your signed date and all of that. And in a typical electronic signature tools, you drag the appropriate fields in the appropriate locations and if you have a long document, you're probably dragging 20, 30 such things. Not very productive. But we said, okay, why, how can we automate it? And that is where AI can, can come in, where AI contextually detects what field is appropriate. If it, is, if it says signature, well, the signature field is appropriate. If it says date, well, the date field is, is automatically added. So we are, we are adding some of this capability by default. So when you import a document, it can help automatically drag these fields. And of course, you can replace them with uh, with your preference, but that's another capability. AI that understands the context of that document that you're about to sign and drags the appropriate fields. That's the new capability we are adding as well. So we often talk a lot about features, capabilities, but if we could take a step back and just ask the question, what is the larger benefit or impact that this would have to a business or a user? Yeah, there is a security side of it, but there is also the productivity and and uh, liability slash risk mitigation part of it. Let's say you're about to sign a document. Now, we also added some capability that can detect a few things. For example, you can ask Zia and say, what am I at risk for? You can do some risk analysis, risk detection in that context and say, hey, what are the terms that could be risky for my business? And that's an important thing. So end of the day, it's about protecting the individual or business and can AI help in there? What are the terms you're really signing? What are the terms that I should be cautious about? And what are the risks I'm taking as a business? So those are aspects that we are trying to help the user. So there is a security part of it in the context of phishing, but there is also giving visibility to the user on what exactly they are signing. Now, fast forward to this, we want to make it even, even better. If you project it forward and where we are heading, now that you're signing a document, can we aggregate all of these documents and push put it in a Zia Hub? That's where we are heading. We announced Zia Hub as part of OneDrive a few months back. Now, imagine having all of these signed documents in, in, a, in a Zia Hub, and you'll be able to uncover new things because we have all encountered this thing with automatic renewals of contracts. If you don't manually call us, tell us, the contracts automatically renew. Well, imagine asking the same question and setting up a workflow in a Zia Hub that says, hey, uh, or show me all the contracts that automatically renew within the next three months. And 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 now I can look at those and, and then, you know, figure out a corrective action. These are, this is the direction we are going, but again, we are taking it at the individual document level. The next would be looking at intelligence across documents and, and there is a lot more you can do. Again, all of this pragmatic, useful on a daily basis. Yeah, you could imagine once everything gets put into Azia Hub, then you can start asking questions through Azia, like what is the potential impact based on other documents that I've signed for signing this? Or is, does this conflict with something else that I've... And that is the intelligence that is, that is coming down the lane where you can say, hey, what are the common terms of the contract that make sense for my business? And what are the contracts that deviate from those terms, the historical terms? And, and that is the intelligence we are planning to bring down the lane. But this is the beginning at the individual unit level, individual uh, agreement level. But there's a lot more coming if you, when you connect these dots across, uh, across Zoho, various Zoho applications.
et cetera. Well, now sort of maybe a personal question. You do sign a lot of documents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you read them all? No. But <laughs> what I do look for is the source it is coming from. If it is coming from our legal department, then I obviously look at the notes that they have when we, serve, we have a certain process. I do look at who it is coming from and the notes that they have. And if I have some questions, I do manually ping the appropriate legal person to make sure that, you know, it is, it is a valid document to give me more context. And this is, some of these features are my own personal request where, hey, I would like to get more visibility on what I am signing, particularly when you sign documents that are not necessarily in English. Yeah, it's sort of the perfect use case is, is what are all of the repetitive and sort of annoying tasks that you have to do to verify? Exactly. And one of the beautiful things we are adding in this AI is pulling out the right information for the right set of documents. Let's say I'm signing a, a job offer letter. The information you need for that is different. Who are you hiring? What is the position you're hiring for? Which location? What is the salary? What is the start date? That is the information appropriate for a job offer letter. But if you are signing, let's say, an event agreement, then we are talking about what is the event, when is it happening, where is it happening, what are the terms, and what is the amount we are, we are giving now, what are the cancellation policy. That's a different use case. But if you are signing a, a, a mutual, say, NDA document, then the information and the terms are, are a little different. So the beauty about AI in this context is when you ask it to summarize it and we are trying to understand the key terms, it identifies and highlights what the key terms and the key aspects are depending on the agreement. And that is extremely contextual. That is very useful. And these are all subtle but very important value add. The beauty is within this entire conversation, we do not talk about AI. We are talking about the benefits of the technology. Yeah. Well, I think that that's important because when can people start using this? Yeah, it's available starting today. So we are rolling it out and uh, it's going to be available right away. And some of these features are actually being rolled out to the free users as well, particularly the phishing, the security is important and automatic form filling. Some of those things are, are available. Uh, some features are available for free users, but some of the others are available for the paid users. So that's a little bit about Zoho Sign. For anyone that wants to check it out, go to zoho.com slash sign.